And five, hey, four, hey, three, hey. two. What up, y'all? Welcome here to the thing. I'm Carol Stage. She's that chick. Hey, that chick. She's doing another podcast episode. Smash that like button. Smash that notification button. Bang it, bang it, bang it, bang it. Bang it, bang it, bang it, bang it. Bang it, bang it, bang it. Brothers in Los Angeles. Okay, is, I'm going. I'm going. You better come because I'm, I'm not even joking. The last one is Monday, October 21st. We are not doing it in November or December. Can you pick or, me up on the way? <laughs> <laughs> or for the first, at least the first six. Actually, it's highly unlikely you even see us in LA if you're not, not even doing this as a marketing thing. Uh, LA is not a strong market for Tony or I. So it's highly unlikely if you don't come to this show on October 21st, it's highly unlikely you see the Ball Brothers show in Los Angeles. That's no cap. We'll never All see it is. again. I'm Sigma. Coming. October 21st, my best friend's birthday. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Yeah. October 21st, pull up um, in Los Angeles, California. Angel, what you got going on in your neck of the woods? I don't know. I already told the shout out before, but it was on the bonus of last week. Check out the evolution of the black football player, which was produced by my good friend, Anthony Smith. It is on Amazon Prime, I think. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. what we're saying. And for those of y'all who have been asking about the lipstick that I, the red lipstick that I be wearing that y'all want, it's about to be back out on MamaLikes.com. Well, shop MamaLikes.com. See you, Angel. Go. All right. First thing first, we're going to call this uh -huh. episode the light skin Green Lantern Controversy. Oh. Mm. Because Aaron Pierre, mm -hmm. who who was recently in a, sh a movie called Rebel Ridge uh -huh. on Netflix. On Netflix. Prior to that, I think he was famous for a movie called Brother, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, about two um, brothers who like relocated. I'm not, I'm not sure if that's the name of it. Uh, what's his name? Aaron or Pierre. It was brother, I believe. Is that right, Patreon? I did anybody see that? I didn't see it. I think it was brother. So why don't they? It's because yeah, it was called brother. It's because he ain't supposed to. Uh, Black Lantern, Green Lantern, <laughs> is supposed to be a darker brown man. Apparently, the creator of the Green Lantern wanted, or actually. Creator of, the Green, creator of the Green Lantern, from what I researched, uh -huh. was adamant that the Green Lantern was black. Uh -huh. Okay? And then, I think in the past, he's been de depicted uh, as brown skin. Deep brown skin. Dark skin. Not light skin. Uh -huh. So, Aaron Pierre has, is having a hot streak. That Rebel Ridge movie um, really shot his... Uh -huh. uh, his star. Because then black women and white women were watching it and acting a fool. They were yeah. like, I, yes, get on my rebel ring. Yeah, Ryan Reynolds played the Green Lantern in the movie, but I think in the comic books, uh, John Stewart was a was a was a brown skin. Uh oh, he was okay. Somebody in Patreon SG77 saying he's adamant that he was dark skin. So um was he in Underground? I don't remember him in Underground, which was a great show, by the way. Uh, your girl was in that. Cynthia Revo? Nope. I mean, maybe. No, I don't think it was her. Uh, I'm thinking of Harriet. Uh, of Harriet. Oh, she's light skinned and very short. Journey? No. No. She, she was the mom in that. Oh, God. Light skinned and short? And I think Journey Spallett is in it, but that's not what I'm thinking about. Uh, I know there's more than one Green Latin. I'm just saying this guy was. Well, John Stewart was brown skin. Light skin and short. I don't know. Amira Vaughn. Thank you. That's, oh, that's what I was thinking about. That's my girl. That's your girl. She's a good actress. Everybody's a good actress is your girl. Okay, I believe it. Yeah. Yeah, you're a good actress. Thank you. Also, quick it. aside before we get into this. That's good. That's nice. Somebody in Hollywood says, Angel, you're getting the role of your life right now. I'm casting you in this movie, and, and it's going to be the thing that puts you up. And it's going to set you up for more movies like this. What kind of film is it? Um, it, It's got to be about strippers. All right. No. <laughs> no just, got to be about being on that pole. No. Um, ooh, to set me up. Ew. Because you pop, they're going to be like, oh, you're going to be perfect for this type. Let's see here. Who has had the career that I 
would that would make it easy for me because it, it's so difficult because a lot of times when they see you in one way then it's hard to get into the uh, get into the other way like okay if so if i okay get, let's say you, you 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 got your choice but this thing don't have to be that thing okay it could be Octavia Spencer, who you was funny in the help, and then you was the, the murdering uh, ma, I believe it was. Yeah, so I would say it would more than likely be some sort of bio. Uh, uh, okay, yeah. So, unfortunately, Angela, we're going to have to remove you as being Black Panther's mom because we're yeah. plopping Angel in there. You're done. Or, yeah, I think I would be the mama more than the sister. I don't feel like doing all the training and losing the weight. God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't going to be uh, Shuri? Ah, I don't think so. You ain't old enough to be older than, than, than that. You you could be the auntie. I know. me. And, you don't play old like me that. And, me and Chad was the same age, so that yeah, you don't, and you, work. You, face-wise, you We're auntie at best. going in the past. Past. This is little Black cool. Panther. Okay. Baby Black. Yeah, Baby Black. When he grow up, you be the mama. Yeah, yeah so no, the little, I was the mama when he was little. Got it. You see. Okay, when he was that could have been your grand. That could have been your grand. Yeah, there we go. That that be okay. uh, uh, something like that. Something. Yes, Regina Hall. I. That's what I thought you were gonna say. Yeah, but movie wise, uh, like I loved her and Ray. I'm trying to think of what else because she's had such a long. She was in Ray. You think Regina Hall or Regina King? Oh, I'm thinking Regina King. I'm sorry. Okay. I saw Regina and I automatically <laughs> went to Regina King, and I know the difference between the two. Regina Hall. Yeah, she's a good one too. She's very funny. She's absolutely but when, hysterical. And in Honk for Jesus, she played both sides of that role. Mm. She was fun, but when that they gave her that scene. When, when she, she's outside. Boy. Looking like a clown. She, and Angel. She was great. She killed it. Yeah. Anyway, back to the Green Latin thing. How do you feel? Because colorism is, here's what I think black people are saddled with. A lot of times it feels like <laughs> y'all want your little black stuff. We gave you your black stuff. Now it's not the right black stuff. Mm -hmm. You want to be seen in Hollywood. This is what it feels like from the industry, not from people. feels like you wanted the Green Lantern. We gave you black guy. Aaron Pierre is light-skinned. He's popping. Hollywood is, is you popping. You in. Rebel Ridge, he's probably on like I, what I would call his rookie deal. Like He's not going to command crazy money yet. Mm -hmm. So business-wise, I could see why they're like, I don't care. What y'all say? Money, Aaron Pierre is perfect. But then as a black person, you like, you want the representation, but you also want the representation as it's accurately represented. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they're not Hollywood would be like, boy, shut up and take this or not. It feels very much eat this for dinner or go to bed hungry. And y'all not getting both. And, and we got fish sticks. You don't want fish sticks? Go to bed. You no, know, we got fish and chips because you know they're not coming to get us. <laughs> now, let's be clear. They're not checking for the Negroes in the room. That's what I'm saying. They're not checking for black Americans. They said, what they got over the pond now? What is he doing over there? Them, they, they, listen, there's a lot of complaints about British people taking them jobs. Let me tell you what them British people often have done, what Angel did. Them folks done went to school they, they, yeah, yeah, to yeah, learn yeah. accents, fight training, accent training. They are often highly trained yep. actors and actresses who, like you should, train for auditions. People <laughs> like me, listen, I don't know how to audition. That's why I make my own stuff. Cast me. You're the star. Boom. Boom. Number one on the call sheet. <laughs> like, look at how that worked out. Audition. It, audition went great. Went great. <laughs> they gave me the role in the room. Matter of fact, before they wrote it, they said, you go start. We're going to write this for you. Listen, I had an audition. I had Angel Reed with me one time. I'll never forget this moment. It was the moment I realized why I wasn't booking nothing. I did my stuff. She said, okay, let's, <laughs> let's try this. I said, oh, I didn't get it still, but I didn't get it better than I didn't get the other one. <laughs> you said I did better. I know. They 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 swiped my link up uh, Kevin, five seconds. Kevin does Kev on stage in his auditions, which is the, the only issue. You, yes. be, you be big Kev on stage, and I'll be like, ooh, that's not, ooh, no. Give them this person. No. Kevin. And I'm like, you are selling Spectrum right now, and I need, <laughs> I need you to be inside of the scene. Now, Spectrum, they they want Kevin on stage. They're like, don't you bring no other person in here. Forty four ninety nine a month. They don't want Spectrum. Kevin Fredericks. <laughs> they want Kev on stage. Kevin stage. Yeah, they want Kevin stage, and they want Tony Booker. 
<laughs> they want think about like actor. This. This is why I be telling them, just cast me. Because the majority of acting is making a choice and being able to make a different choice. Yeah. Get this director in the room with me, and I'm going to give you what you need. I'm going to give you but what when, you need. When I'm auditioning, I'm guessing what you want. I help to hear what an audition, I said, I see it. You see what you're doing. I see why you be getting these. You yeah. memorized that, huh? I said, what time y'all want me to come to the store? <laughs> Because, well, they give it to you in the morning and want it in the afternoon. No, absolutely not. And you tell them no. I tell them yes, and it'll be done poorly. <laughs> <laughs> but it'll be done on time. It'll be lukewarm, and you'll spit me out. That's what you'll do. No, you tell them I'll, uh, in two days I'll be ready. Oh, no. I got to turn my homework in on time or I can't go outside. No, no. You are still going to be on time. It's still going to be on time. <laughs> they move the due date. Yeah, but also I could, uh, I could benefit from preparing for an audition uh one of our homegirls our collective homegirls now candace helped me with an audition one time i didn't get it again but boy i was much closer than the last time i believe it she had me make and she also gave me some stuff that i can take with me every time good um so anyway uh here's my feeling about it um actually i, I interrupted you i believe no it was just is they want them black brits uh i the colorism part didn't really doesn't really bother me that much. However, if the creator really, you know what? Actually, no, I don't actually even care about that. I think um, that this wasn't a thing of, oh, they only find light-skinned men with light eyes attractive. I really think it's because he's popping right now yeah. in the zeitgeist of names. I don't think it has anything yeah. to do with they are trying to ignore the fact that this man, this character is dark-skinned. Um and I don't know how important that is to the actual uh, storyline of the character. Yeah, because they, they threw Zoe Saldana as Nina Simone. They said, put this brown stuff on your face and you're going to be dark That skin. shit pisses me off. <laughs> Zoe Saldana, me. Nina Simone. I don't like, fine. I actually hate when uh, American actors play people who are from Africa. Yeah. I actually, I hate it. I'd be like, fine. Nina just, Simone from Africa? No, no, no. I, it made me. It made me think of uh, also. What was that movie that the man with the eye? Forrest Whitaker. Idia Yamin, Last King of Scotland. Thank you, Last King of Scotland. We would do a, We would kill out a taboo competition. So let me tell you. The reason why I made me think of that is because they also make Harry Washington darker in that. So I was thinking about. Got it. You thinking went about from her Zoe Saldana. Everything that pissed you off ever. Yes. Your brain was like, and let me give you two more right now. Yes, Carrie. Wa I was like, what? What makeup did they put on her to try to make her look darker? Five an African actress or one that is more closely linked to the descent yeah. of Africans. Anyway. Ooh. Now, Woman King didn't bother me as much. It, it probably should have, but I thought Viola Davis was amazing. When I saw Woman King, I saw it by myself on tour. I said, y'all is glistening. Them women came up out of their uh, brush, freshly moisturized. <laughs> The night moon glimmered off them shoulders. I yeah. said, boy, y'all finna die the most moisturized uh -oh. ever. Y'all gonna slide across these, your enemies. These men gonna be sliced up and they gonna have cocoa butter and Vaseline coming yeah. out of their pores. Yeah. Y'all yeah. gonna be dead, but listen, listen, they came out greasy in the whistle. Yes. Because they made themselves greasy so you can't grab them. Yeah. They, wha, sha, yeah. Sha. That one girl who was in. Uh, Tall girl, big eyes. Yes. yes she, she was an right. X-Men. Yeah, she's uh, a, she was an X-Men. She X died quick in X-Men. She done a lot of Her movies. name starts with an L. And she was she in the Black Panther too? I don't think so. But tall big eyes. Le Leah. She be working. Oh, what's her name? Starts with an L. Y'all know what I'm talking about. She tall big eyes. LaShonda? Lash LaShonda Lynch. Lash Let me see if that's what I'm reading. LaShonda Lynch. Boy, y'all Patreon, y'all be knowing the name of the people, boy. Yes, this big eyed girl, 5'9, in shape. Yeah. And she, don't she thick? Yeah, she was. But anyway, that was good. Um, but yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's more so of that than actual colorism. I do believe that colorism in Hollywood exists. We mainly see it on the side of. Female casting. Light-skinned women. Light-skinned women. You're going to have a light-skinned mom for the most part. They're not over here looking for mm -hmm. brown or darker complected. Yep. Uh, but I don't necessarily think that that is what happens a lot on the male side of casting. Yeah. I <laughs> Somebody called her Tall Quinta. <laughs> ah, 
Did you know that you could be manipulated out of a bad habit? Scamfluencers is a weekly podcast from Wondery that takes you along the twists and turns of the most infamous scams of all time, the impact on victims, and what's left once the facade fades away. Scamfluencers recently dove into the story of Richard Bandler, the godfather of modern mental manipulation. He revolutionized the world of self help, all thanks to an approach he developed called neuro linguistic programming. Even though NLP worked for some, many called it pseudoscience. NLP methods have been criticized for being dangerous in the wrong hands and inspiring some of the most toxic and criminal self-help movements of the last two decades. Throw in Richard's dark past uh, as a cocaine addict and a murder suspect, and you can't help but wonder what his true intentions were. Follow Scamfluencers on the Wondery app or wherever you get your podcasts. You can listen to Scamfluencers and more Exhibit C true crime shows like Morbid and Kill List early and ad free right now by joining Wondery Plus. Check out Exhibit C in the Wondery app for all your true crime listening. Uh, Jay Fritz said this. He said two things can be true. It could be, it could be that they were he was popping and he's handsome. And light, like Hollywood gonna go for beautiful if, if they can get it. Beautiful or handsome, physically fit. These are, especially in an action film, you know, men out of shape gonna get work out of sh uh, over women out of shape all day and handsome. A, a non-handsome out of shape man can still work every day in Hollywood. Let me tell you why I really don't think it has anything to do with colorism, even though this is a completely different universe. Okay. But you look at the history of casting. Yep. When you think of all the black male superheroes that mm. we have seen, yep. Terrence Howard got to be one for two seconds. Mm -hmm. They replaced him with a dark skinned man. He asked for more money. They said, wow. They said, Don Cheadle would be. Did you hear the story Don Cheadle told about that? No. Don Cheadle said that Marvel called him at a child's birthday party, said he answered the phone. Hey, just give me one second. Hey, this is your agent. Yeah, they want you to play Rhodey in Marvel. Okay. It could be up to seven to eight films over the next six, seven years. You have two hours to decide. Dang, man. He said, I'm sorry. Marvel right. said you can play Rhodey. Come on. But it might be up to seven films. I'm exaggerating. But it, the, yeah. the, 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 for sure, they said two hours. Two hours. Yeah, I can believe it. Because guess what? Don Cheeto said no. You know who going to say yes? Kev on stage. Kev on stage. Kevin stage. We got to We're going to make it a little bigger as a costume. <laughs> yeah, yes. You didn't answer. Yes. Is Hollywood? <laughs> yeah. That's Hollywood? Yes. Sure. We didn't even tell you what the you role can, was. Uh -huh. Marvel, they didn't, they wouldn't have got to the. <laughs> yeah, Mark, if you Mark. might have been saying Marvel. You would have showed up in your You kid. have two hours, two seconds. Yes. <laughs> I'm on my way to the taping. Whose birthday is it? Like, doesn't matter. Zay Zay, JoJo, happy birthday. Your daddy's in. Bye. <laughs> they were like, no, we didn't say Marvel. We said Marvel. This is Done. an old school. <laughs> is that about the girls from Motown? The Marvels? Yes. What am I doing? <laughs> and now they might have had to call a lot of people to get down care. Yeah. Two yeah. hours? <laughs> they got a lot of names. <laughs> By the time they get to me, they don't have two hours. Yeah. Care. Do yes you want no. yes? Yes? <laughs> hello? Yes. Hello? Did you Hello? Yes, Marvel? Yes. Yes? Oh, yes. Yeah. So it, But yeah, Blade? Was, yeah, Blade, dark skin man. Uh obviously Spawn? Dark skin man. That's gonna be Black Mar Panther? Marshall. Uh, no, I mean original. Chris Tucker. Yeah, but I'm saying I'm talking about I'm talking about Rush casting. Hour. He's a superhero. <laughs> I'm talking about what we have seen casting wise for superhero movies specifically. Yes. So I'm saying you have Wesley Snipes, you have Mahershala Ali, mm. you have Chadwick uh, uh, Boseman, you have um, uh, Don Cheadle. Yeah. And how many? Jonathan Majors, oh, brown skin. Nigga SK. Bird. Nigga Bird, brown skin. What's his name? Ooh, it's been Nickelbird so long. Mackey. Anthony Mackey. Anthony Mackey. You don't like people. You know, don't talk to me. <laughs> and I don't Why have that my you windows down. Yeah, Elder Charles. Aldis Hodges. Aldis Hodges. That, uh, Will Smith. Will Smith kind of lighter. He ain't light, light. He like in between. He like your color. Yeah. I, th I feel like him and Anthony Mackey like... are the same. Nah, yeah. Anthony Mackey a little you know browner. What? This is not my topic to speak on. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> Spanish guy, you better stay over there. We talk about Richie Valens. We coming to you. <laughs> but I say all that to say, Luke yes, Cage, Luke big Cage. brown skin. Yes, Christmas. So, 
I say all that to say, this is why I don't think it's colorism because that has not been the trend for Hollywood. It's not like we keep watching them cast all these light skinned niggas Samuel. in these roles. Right, Samuel I had, I had L. Get, I had to get back in on one. I said, I'm done. There you go. As Nick Fury. So that's why I'm saying we, this is, I think it's the wrong conversation because Hollywood has actually, for men, done a great job yeah. of making sure that. Dark, brown to darker complected men are in these roles. So yep. I just think it was just this man. What's his name? Light skin, light skin eyes. Aaron Pierre. Aaron Pierre just happened to pop at the right time. And that's, that's what all I was it saying. is. Like, I think sometimes it's uh, Hollywood so much is if you're popping, you're popping. Mm -hmm. Right? Like there's so many people. I was thinking about this the other day. There's so many people in Hollywood who there's like a three or four year period where you, they was in everything. Remember, um, Sinbad had a run in the early nineties. He was in all these movies. Mm -hmm. First kid in, mm -hmm. um, was he in the genie movie? Or is that the one we get confused with? No, no, no. He, was in, he was in a, like a genie-ish movie. Uh, is that real or Mandela effect? No, no, no. I just watched it in his special, a special that he did. And uh, he talked about it. Shazam? No, not Shazam. Um, no, he talked about it. Shazam! I was Are right! Shazam? Come on. So what's the Shaq one where they say... Sh Sh Shaq was in Shazam. Sh Kazam. 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 <laughs> uh, oh. It's one of how, he was in House Guest. Uh, it was a minute. Um, yeah, and I think Aaron Pierre... That dog on Brother... Plus the Netflix Rebel Ridge movie. Mm -hmm. I mean, and obviously Hollywood knows about Rebel Ridge prior to Rebel Ridge coming out. Like uh -huh. your agents are probably sending over like, oh, he can be in Rebel Ridge, Rebel Ridge, y'all. Uh, but look at Jonathan Majors. Prior to um, that um, oh, fudge. crime situation with that white girl, uh -huh. Jonathan Major was... He was on his way He up. was getting like progressively bigger. I mean, he shot up to Kang, yeah. you know, like... But he had other movies... He, he he had that run and he gonna be he gonna be he gonna it's gonna be a while I I don't think he's done but he got he probably got about twenty twenty six he gonna start over um, start over and what start over doing what he gonna get like a small he gonna do uh, R R D J's version of before Iron Man I don't know what he gonna be able I don't Malik Yoba was in a lot of movies was he he was in he was in New York on a cover and he was in Cool Runnings but I don't remember that many movies. Michael B. Jordan? Michael B. Jordan. Okay, cool. Right. I, I need like <laughs> he, I need, he I need like two. I need two maybe in a possible. He brown he brown like Will Smith. He's not dark skinned. Okay, then they saying it's the Mandela effect. What would he talked about being in some movie in this dang old special I just watched? Was he talking about people thinking he was in it? I didn't see that special. No. Uh uh. No. Oh well, it's not that important. Uh Cause I just watched the special this weekend and I laugh. He's he was one of my favorite growing up. I, I love Sinbad. To the screaming, laughing is how Sinbad I. Sinbad was is he one of your favorites? Who, me? Well, yeah. Yes. Growing as up, as a clean he's comic, he's a clean comic, as, but he yeah. doesn't come as across a comic. as clean. Mm -hmm. He's just funny, yeah. and people often don't realize Sinbad doesn't cuss until well, later. That was the reference I was bringing up with yeah. as a clean comic because he tucks it. Got it. He yeah okay. They're saying he's saying it was a joke. Uh, but anyway, no, they said um, he was in that damn movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, no, I don't think Michael B. Jordan is light skinned. I think he is brown skinned. Like, oh, yeah, she's talking about yeah, Michael yeah, yeah. B. Jordan popped and they were putting him in stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So if uh, I say all this to say, I don't know why the dark skin of. Um, of Green Lantern is important other than that was the creator's original intent. Mm -hmm. But I also feel like we ain't gonna be able to have it both ways because let me tell you, we be out here taking all these damn Disney characters that surely were meant to be white and we will take them with gladness. Thank you so much. It's a fictional much. character and y'all mad. Yes. So <laughs> I'm just gonna be glad that it's a black person in the role. They didn't just decide we're just going to make you white. Let's go right back to Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. We'll just make you white. No, thank you. Is it? Listen, we're going to take baby steps. 
Because I would love for it to have been a black American, right? Just because I feel like they'd yeah. be like, nope to you. Yeah. But listen. Nope to you. <laughs> nope. Nope to you. You don't sound from somewhere else when I talk to you. Yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> My thing is, if here's where I feel like it matters, right? If the, especially if it's a actual character, and oftentimes how that character looks affects how they were treated in the world. Yeah. Like that's important. Right. Right. Um, like that's why Nina Simone as a brown, dark skinned woman mm -hmm. has a, a, a different experience than Zoe Saldana as a, uh, I think she's Latin, uh, Latin American, Latin I mean, Ameri Latin, no, Afro Latina. Afro Latina. Jesus, thank you. Help Afro Latinx. Me. Afro Latinx. Now you can jump in here. A lot. <laughs> Miles Morales, Afro Latinx. There you go. Pew, pew, pew. So I think in those instances, well, obviously you don't want to make a light skinned woman darker through makeup. Mm -hmm. So I think that's an instance that Nina Simone is a real person mm -hmm. who was dark skinned and part of her experience and her music, all that stuff is influenced by that. When you take a light skinned girl and put her in makeup or if they didn't, either way, it's like now y'all could have found right. a brown skinned, dark skinned, deep uh, skin black woman. Yeah, you ain't have to go throw some makeup on Zoe Saldana. And let me tell you, there are so many things that I've auditioned for that take place pre Civil War, where I'm like, depending on how you all are describing this character, I'll be like, I I don't think they want me yeah. for for it. Like I, there are certain roles that I'm like, obviously I am the product of a lot of interracial, uh, some. Some, you know, by force and some by mm -hmm. voluntarily I am sleeping with someone who's of a different race. Mm -hmm. That makes me not really feasible as certain in certain storylines. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If you if you're doing a storyline where people are coming freshly over to America. Yeah. I don't work in no. that context. I look like a product of being a descendant of slaves ADOS. in America. Absolutely. ADOS. So we got to be a couple of years into slavery in order for me <laughs> to exist the way I look. Yes. So I don't be understanding how, how um, actresses, I get it. You want the check, but I don't understand how that doesn't make any, how they be like, yeah, I'll do this and not be like cringing yeah. when it's happening. Mm -hmm. um, I do have a girlfriend though, Josh oh. knows, who... She is black American, but has no percent percentage of whiteness in oh. her DNA. Really? Friend of the pot. Friend of the pot. Zero? Zero. She went down to 23 and me? She went down to uh you got all of them. What did what, what was the one that we ancestry. were talking about? And she went down ancestry. to ancestry. She pulled mm. the ancestry out and was like She make it known too. Yeah, Where she was it? like, You have the colonizer blood in you. <laughs> Not I you. don't. So in that case, I'm not, this is not theater. Theater, you can get away with a lot more stuff. Yeah, theater, yeah, I could sure. be elderly. Yeah. Theater, I could be a different gender and you not even know or care. Mm -hmm. When we're talking about film where you're intimate in the person's space, yes. you got to be just a twinge closer. And they, uh, listen, I forgot about this. Somebody in Patreon said it. They threw a prosthetic on Zoe Saldana's nose. They did. And, mm. and the brown. It was such an insult. I said now. Dang. It's just this, especially on a movie that you want us to take seriously. And then she was as Gamora. She went and greened it up. She just, I mean, and they could have hired some green, some people from Greenland and to be more authentic. <laughs> that was good, Angel. Thank you. That was it really felt good. like a Joshi That was really one. good. Thank you so much. <laughs> if it were a funny movie. I was like, that sure is a place, She too. just pick any color, anything I got to be. Yeah. You mean it to be brown? Throw the brown on. Yeah. Need it to be green and be Thanos' daughter? Green me up. She yeah. don't care. Yeah. She yeah. don't care. I just don't. It'd be like you playing a NFL player right now. What's wrong with that? You have more of a basketball build. Let's start there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start there, Kevin. So we're already dealing with a delusion of football being <laughs> the body type you have. Show it. Angel, she was blue in Avatar. She sure was. Boy, oh boy. Pick <laughs> boy. all the crayons out, Zoe. Boy, oh boy. Boy, you boy, totally forgot she was blue in Avatar. It's ridiculous. Primary colors, McGee. Uh, well, I'm sure Smurfette could have used that job. Because we ain't Smurfette ain't had no work since when? 88? 89? 89. Well, 
live action. They're waiting. So Avatar, that was right there. Avatar couldn't get people from Talokan. <laughs> there you go. Yes. <laughs> On it, Josh. Cool Khan. <laughs> oh, man. As a winner of Apple's Podcast Show of the Year Award, Code Switch is that sort of show that handles race and identity like you've never heard before. Regardless of what color you are, Code Switch knows that identity is a part of every show. One of the things I love about Code Switch is that they have a segment called Ask Code Switch where they actually take questions from their listeners and they give really timely advice and insight. When so much of the world talks about race in ways that others feel preachy or alienating, Code Switch is, in inter is interested in how race and identity shape your world in real and confusing and sometimes funny ways. From discussions with comedians of color about what makes a good race joke to how questions of identity swirl around reality TV, Dungeons and Dragons and BBLs, Code Switch guides you through all the different spaces uh, that people of color live in and what it's like to navigate them. Code Switch doesn't just talk to you about race and identity in the abstract. It tackles real everyday questions like how to create boundaries with immigrant parents or tips on how to speak to family members whose racial views might feel stuck in the stone ages. From the what James Baldwin can teach us about Israel to unpacking Kamala Harris's identity politics to exploring the life, the long history of sex testing in sports. Code Switch gets really real about the way that race and identity in the headlines can affect the way we think about race and identity at home. I truly think that all the episodes are very empowering, but I also love the episodes that are not necessarily talking to me as a black woman, but give me insight of what other people are dealing with. Um, because I love being able to understand other races and cultures in order for me to grow in my empathy. Every episode of Code Switch feels like a love letter to the ways that race and identity are always connected and how your life, no matter who you are, is made richer by thinking through them. Listen now to Code Switch from NPR, wherever you get your podcast. The holidays are coming around and I'm already thinking about what I want to get the people that I love. I actually just had a conversation with my eldest son last night on what he wanted for Christmas and how I can make a gift more meaningful for him. Well, with Paint Your Life, you can give your loved one a unique hand-painted portrait of themselves or a place or a person that they love. It's not AI and it's not a print. It's a real painting by a real artist. No gift could touch the heart as much as this. And now it is a special early bird price. Paint your life, transform your photos into a one of a kind, beautifully hand painted portrait by professional artist. You can even upload multiple photos to combine them or create anything you imagine. Ask your artist to add embellishments, change a wardrobe or put you in a location you've always wanted to go to or add a love lost, a lost loved one to a special occasion. It takes less than five minutes to order a custom made hand painted portrait, the perfect holiday gift, meaningful, personal and always heartwarming. This is a gift that will touch the heart and make your loved ones holiday unforgettable. Get started with your holiday shopping early this season and give the most meaningful gift you've ever given from paintyourlife.com. And there's no risk. If you don't love your final painting, your money is refunded. Guaranteed. Order now to get Paint Your Life's early bird holiday offer. 20% off your painting. That's right. For a limited time, get 20% off and free shipping. To get this special offer, text the word THING to 87204. That's THING to 87204. Text THING to 87204. Paint Your Life. Celebrate the moments that matter most. Message and data rate supply. See terms for details. Um, but yeah, remember no. they did. Did y'all hear this? Um, so Netflix did that. Uh, <laughs> they did that movie about the cocaine uh, Griselda, and Sofia Vergara played her, and they said they had to uh, hide some of her beauty. Yeah, Sofia is kind of gorgeous. And then they the the family said, <laughs> "My mama wasn't ugly." And the people, somebody on Twitter, put the picture. <laughs> Of Griselda <laughs> and Sophia Vergara said, no, no let's, I'm not saying, see. but we see the difference. You, I mean, come on now, come on with it. I said, God, don't you can never go, uh, you can't argue it ain't ugly, yeah, because people gonna try and prove it to you. 
Listen, then nobody, and they didn't have to say, you should already consider it a compliment that they got that Sophia. That they got Sophia. Because Sophia is very, very pretty. She has made, uh, she's hilarious, but she's made a career off of her, Sophia, and that other one, married to uh, the old man who's still alive. She's also dark haired. Also. Not Selma Hayek. Yeah. Penelope Cruz. No. Selma. That everybody you're saying is right. So- <laughs> I don't know who she's married to. Wait a minute. Who's the first person we were talking about? Sophia Vergara. Okay, that's a modern family. Mm -hmm. She is gorgeous. Yes. You weren't talking about her character, a modern family. I was talking about Selma Hayek. Okay, got it. The entire, no, no. When we were talking about Sophia. (laughs) Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Let's untangle this. I was definitely talking about Selma Hayek. She, Sophia is also gorgeous. Selma's who I was talking about. Is very gorgeous. Now let's get to the person that I thought that I was trying to get you to. Married to an old man, dark hair. Old man, dark hair. Come on, she's got dark hair. She's an actress. Yes, she married to a famous old white actor. And she's Latinx. No, she's white. Yeah. Oh, girl, I, why are we even talk about her? Because they all in the same category. Just she talk without the accent. Michael, is she married to a Michael Douglas? Oh, Catherine Zeta Jones. Hmm? Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Catherine Zeta. There you go. She's Greek. Yeah. Stop it. Catherine Zeta. I was. See, yeah. Our see Greek, I was Josh. gonna no, I was gonna say that, but then you know it's the sure. black thing, you know. Oh. <laughs> Spanish guy, Spanish guy, stay in your lane, you know. You, know? This, you need to jump in, Spanish guy. It's a black, it's a black thing. See, man, that was a lie. I didn't think Catherine was a uh, Latina. I knew she wasn't. No, no, yeah, you was talking about she her. She was in Zorro. Yeah. So who did you think I was talking about with Griselda? Where was your mind at? I was on Selma Hayek. Oh, that man I is had... old. Angel, you are not wrong. No, he old. He old. He's up he's there. With, he's yeah, his, with he's Frankie up. Valley. What's he's, his name? He ain't that old. Yes, he is. No, it's not. Stop you it. Shit. Yeah, Frank, Watch him. Frank. Put him in a movie. <laughs> Put him in a movie. <laughs> and you'll be like, He also never really looked young. Michael Douglas ain't ever, never really looked young. He's 80 years old, Lord. Is he Frankie 80? Valley. They the same Michael nigga. Douglas 80? He has almost 30 years on her. Yeah. Mm. Michael Douglas is eighty. Yeah. Yeah. I mean that photo. That photo that Google got is not not a not a good one. Dang, Michael Douglas. He was in one of my favorite plays turned movie. Uh, Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. Oh okay. Oh, always be closing. His dad just died. How old was his dad? One hundred. Oh dang, his dad was uh your boy. He was the Kurt. other famous white Big man. Kurt. Yeah. Is it Kurt Douglas. He was uh Douglas is a common name. Mm-mm. Nope, that don't sound right now. No, who was his daddy? No, they said it was Kirk, but I didn't think so. He was in that famous movie. Yeah, it's Kirk. It's Kirk. Let me see. Let me see him beside each other. Let me see him beside each other. Put Kirk and... Oh, my God. Toy Carney, you got to log off for that comment. (laughs) That Jimmy Carter comment was... Oh, my God. I didn't know that. I didn't know what he was kissing. They just don't age well, man. (laughs) They do not age well, man. That's Boo Boo. Oh, 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 oh my God. Don't go. Don't take the picture away. No. Look, look. One more. Oh, oh let me go on. back. Let me go back. Very mad. Oh, see. You can somebody, hear. Hold on. You can literally somebody hear. Somebody in the chat said. <laughs> somebody the in the chat said, did his dad look like Jimmy Carter? <laughs> I didn't believe is that. that? <laughs> That is what you can hear from the f- picture. If Kevin, Angel, did you see the photo of when they brought Jimmy Carter oh. out to watch the airplanes fly yes. over? Dog, Jimmy Carter don't know what's happening. Well, hey, do. like you see the airplane, Jimmy? He and the, no, he up there with them. Wide open, man. He, he, with harm, wide open. With harm, wide open. Wide open. All right. Yes, Michael Douglas saying, is in that man. Catherine Zeta Jones and Selma Hayek to me are interchangeable mm-hmm. in their. One, um, sex appeal in their strikingness. Uh, sorry. But that's who, when you said Sophia, oh, you don't think Catherine Zeta-Jones is pretty? She's, she's beautiful, gorgeous. <laughs> Let me tell you what. Selma Hayek, when I was a child in puberty, oh, I want to say she was in Desperado. I said, my God! Today. I don't even. I don't know which Hold movie on. she was. I no. watched the Angel. Now let me tell do, you what. Do young, just do young Catherine nah, Zeta. Jo- Angel, I'm telling you. Catherine Zeta-Jones look Latina. Like. No, I, I, 
Summer Catherine Hyde's Zeta Jones 60. on her best day was nowhere near Summer Hike and Desperado. That's what I'm telling you as a young man. I, I believe it, but I don't think she's gorgeous. Amen. But in 1995, 12 year old Cam seen Summer Hike. I said, My God, I felt something. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, she don't go that dark anymore. No. Oh, no. she she ain't had her hair that brown. And also, no, Angel, I know what I'm talking Look about. How pretty. Girl, pretty move. Girl. No, she's she's amazing. She's amazing. He said, girl, no. But I was, when you said. Now, Penelope Cruz and Selma Hyde, you can make an argument. Oh, well, they are the same person. You didn't know yeah, that? Yeah, they are definitely the same person. Uh, but uh, Penelope is her. Uh, Penelope Cruz. She is about to say she doesn't. She's out of the out of all those women. She's at the bottom of the list of, of like pretty for me. Yeah. Selma I mean, Hyde still pretty. Selma Hyde was in Eternals, I believe. I'm not mistaken. Was she? Yeah, I think she was in Eternals. But I said, Selma, you still got it. No, but Ka it's more Catherine and in, in, in Oh, sub, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what's her face? Uh, oh, but yeah, sure when was. you said Sophia Regara, I was definitely thinking Selma Hayek. This is hilarious. And I was like, hold on. <sighs> All right, moving on. Wow. Elon Musk tweeted that Tesla now has Optimus robots. Yeah, they do. Uh, and a robo van. I'm going to get one. I'm gonna get a robot. They'll be able to babysit your kids and walk your dog. He said they're gonna be about twenty to thirty thousand dollars. And all I want to know, all I want to know, Angel, has anybody seen a movie? Called Have you ever he copy and pasted the entire a movie? I robot. We robot is what this rollout was called. Hilarious. I'm being serious. Jesus. Oh, was it really? Yes, that was Jesus. the name of the event. Was re we robot? Jesus. Are you for real? The, they put side by side images of everything. The van was in iRobot. It's a, I'll, oh I'm my send you god! Mm -mm -mm. Her name is Salma. You right, Troy? But you know we black now. The girl named Sel Selma Alabama Hayek. Why would her name be Salma? Because it is Salma Angel. But you know we're not gonna say that. We are gonna say Selma. I don't like it. Oh, because she think because that that we gonna look at that first day. Girl, no, we name Selma now. Change that. To E. That girl is Selma Alabama Hike, and I'm Kevin Stage. Let the celebrities <laughs> tell it. Yeah, she's still fine. She's still fine. At, she's still fine. At 58, that heifer's still fine. Go on somewhere and lay down. That's why I don't understand Give us a chance. what God did. God said, Some people, you just gonna be gorgeous from the day you're born to the day I take you off of here. She still look good. And some of us, he gonna be like, Your hairline gonna be gone at 28. <laughs> Get it out of here. And your daddy was big, and you're going to be big, too. And if you don't want to do it, then work out for eight hours and eat rice and air. And I ain't going to do that. You ain't going to do it. I ain't going to do that. But listen, you got the basketball player body. And the football. <laughs> no, Kevin. And I got no the, one will believe you I got the football. hot foot as well. <laughs> but how to say Yeah, there's no reason for Selma to look this but good. But listen, if y'all watch the robots movie, that robots always get together. Mm -hmm. They feel they realize the humans are dumb. In order to protect them from themselves, we have and to actually are, kill them. They, are oh, they big. always come to the same. They were making yes. drinks and talking to people. Josh taking pictures. When somebody would pull out their camera, they would go like this. You, the the, 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 the computer programs always come to that conclusion. Whether it's Skynet, Ultron, I tried to go to that. I Robot. They always come. To, and guess what? Humans have already come to that conclusion. Yeah. There's too many of us. We don't care about the planet, and if we keep going, we're going to destroy it. Mm. The robots always be like, we're going to speed that up and kill y'all. Yeah. One of them took a picture literally like this. That was, that hey, was Kevin That's off bot. me. Yeah. And they you know the, ro the robots is in good shape. They oh. need to make fat robots. Oh, they definitely You want to steal my thing? Make it 270. Listen, Actually, you don't want a 270 do robot. <laughs> Cause it's gonna You're gonna rip your you face out. off like the monkeys was ripping them nose. If it can do laundry, it, it can have. It can have. Remember that robot dollars. when them robots was in the shipping container, huddled up as friends mm -hmm. because they were sad. Mm -hmm. They gonna become. They gonna we gonna reach singularity, and the robots gonna be coming karate chopping us, and they don't go to sleep. They don't. We gonna be sleep. They gonna chop us in the throat, and they gonna make us wear hard shoes, and our plantar fasciitis is gonna hurt. Exactly. That's exactly what they go. That's you, how they gonna you, take you out. You listen. You you worried about immigrants taking your job? That the robot ro don't get tired. Don't. If, what if you got a robot? What would you want it to do for you? See, you're gonna have it make sense. So that's the problem. This is how it's gonna win you over. Go ahead. Because let me tell you, if that robot can do some straight backs, if he can braid my hair. 
Yeah. Nigga, welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home. If it could braid my hair, if it was like time to refresh, and it did the take out. <laughs> and what if it was, but it had black and the girl hold still, and it told you you, you was tender headed. Uh, well, no, then then no, you getting fired, and I'm gonna bring back my my other braider who's not as dependable. But imagine you <laughs> could do straight backs fast. I would in your get sleep. It. No breaks. Just get me in, get me out. You can call over your uh, uh, other iRobot friend. Y'all can do half and half of the head. Oh, yeah. I would want that robot to clean. That's what I'm saying. Actually, I, I'm going to give it to you straight up. The robot got to do one thing. Put away the laundry. That's what, oh, what oh, I said. I didn't hear you, Josh. Oh, no, I'm just saying, if you can do laundry, it can have my 20K, man. Put, it, just, it didn't have to do all the laundry. For whatever reason, by the time I get to putting it away, I no longer have energy for this. I, my clean clothes for the past month have been sitting <laughs> folded up and in I, various areas I do of my fluff room. and fold. I did. I, I bring it back from the fluff and fold same. and I leave it in a bag. Oh, that's same. A, that's, that is insane. <clears throat> I'm that bad too. Same. Put these clothes away. When I wash clothes, I got all the energy. Wash, dry. Oh, throwing them in. It's fold, easy. Fold and fold. Set it up to be put away. I'm tired of this now. <laughs> I can't do it. I know I'm in trouble when I start going back to the clean pile. Let me just get the yeah. drawers out of here now. Then you don't even got to put it up. If you just hold it for me until I'm ready to wear it. <laughs> just get it off the floor and off my bed so that the room can look neater. Man, or if it cooked, you could just cook good, clean, and healthy food so I could look at that and then go and buy. <laughs> look at you did so good. Look at that. Is that egg white? Yeah, go and get me some Jack in the box. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't want to wait for Postmates. Get in my truck and go get me two of them 99 cents. Do that and get over there. <laughs> ah, jump up and get it. Me, me, you'll die. I'm telling you, they, they, might, they showed that robot putting laundry away. Who wants to put laundry away? He found all the stuff. Oh, I, I hate matching, matching the socks. socks. I have four oh, boys. Oh. Nobody has matching socks. Oh, man. I don't. With, with, I got. The, the dog <laughs> taking the socks. That is that is Lala. That's her favorite thing. That's I Monty is like, I want to smell your essence. Get the dog out of the socks. Put the socks together. Put them away. Maybe you can murder me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in 10 years you can murder me. Maybe when y'all come to your conclusion, at least I have 10 years of put away laundry. And listen, if it could, if I could say, oh, I have this really good video idea. And this is how it goes. And then they set it up and shot it. And then edited it. <laughs> you showed it to you. What you think about that, Angel? I would give it a percentage. And I would be like, here you go. I know you don't need nothing to buy nothing, but I'm going to give you this money anyway. Oh, my God. Also, check in for me when I fly southwest. Check in for me early so I get the good boarding spot. Yeah, if, if it's 12 o'clock is when I can check in, 12 midnight, I want you on the computer at 5, I mean, 11.59. Yes. And then as soon as it hits 12, check and you press it fast, yeah. so I don't got to do the early bird, and I don't got to pay the extra. Come on, because I can't always do if it's, if I'm if I'm thinking about it, I can do it. Mm -hmm. But you be roboting, yeah, yeah, ah, ah. Ah, and then put me in group A, and it just needs to do that. And that's all you know. Them people you, down in the computers, right? Get you inside of there. It. It's done. Get inside of there. Oh, I would love that. And also, go put gas in my truck and bring it back. Said, would you let it do it? Your meet and greets? He wouldn't even let the robot be put through yeah. that. If I, if, if it, man, if they had a Supreme robot that could be in human skin, me no, and greet. No, it would look like, regular. It would look regular. At and, Kevin. And it would just, they would just put your face <sighs> and the image on the square. And it would, it would know you so well, it would know the things that you would say. What if in a while there were my regular energy at meet and greets? <clears throat> oh, that would be even better. That would be worth That's it. That's authentic. Yuck. Come on. <laughs> I don't want to hear your idea. Oh, you would want to be out there to watch that. Y'all don't like, want to meet and greet the robot, Nick. Hey, yo, Nick. And it got to weigh 270. See, but then we got to ride in the car together. We're going to be big in that back seat. Yeah, You're going to no, fly that robot? Robots fly free, man. You know the computer stuff. Matter <laughs> of fact, I want with Iron Man yeah, stuff. I said, why does it need transportation? That's that. That's another thing. If I, if I could. Now, if it, could, if it could fly me places. Oh, we would get here all the time early. <sighs> Flash onto your back. Fly me over to the 405 and take me down and land Man. me right there. Oh, that would give me gas. And I got too many bags. <laughs> Get, turn around and drop my damn laptop. <laughs> I told you to put the laptop in your stomach and you made me carry it. And now look at it. Look at it. It's broken. I don't trust Elon Musk with this. You shouldn't. He didn't even do Tesla's right. He didn't. 
They can't get wet, Josh. You never told me. Therapy can be costly, but Talkspace is affordable and in network with most insurance providers. Most insured members have a zero dollar copay. Talkspace is the leading virtual therapy provider, makes getting the help you need easy, accessible, and affordable. I absolutely love therapy, and I did therapy virtually in all of my experiences with therapy as an adult woman. And I'm telling you right now, it made me getting access to treating myself to a good mental health workout so much easier. I know I wouldn't have been able to do it if it wasn't virtual. So I'm so grateful for therapy. And I think you'll be grateful for Talkspace. Talkspace therapy and psychiatry are covered by many insurance plans and employers. Most insurance insured members have a $0 copay. You can easily sign up online and get paired with a licensed provider that's right that's the right fit for your needs typically within 48 hours and you can also switch providers at no extra cost Talkspace makes getting the help convenient um, because you can take your appointments from the comfort and privacy of your own home you can even talk it out between sessions by sending messages to your therapist Talkspace provides personalized treatment for individuals couples the LGBTQIA plus community veterans and teens as a listener of this podcast, you'll get $80 off your first month with Talkspace when you go to Talkspace.com slash crew with a K and enter promo code SPACE80. To match with a licensed therapist today, go to Talkspace.com slash crew with a K and enter promo code SPACE80 to get $80 off your first month and show your support for the show. That's Talkspace.com slash crew with a K promo code SPACE80. You got to wash them all particular. You can't take them to a car wash. They get water inside of the circuits. Be circuit breaking it out. No, I don't know. I don't know that. Did that Did happen to your that? Tesla? I ain't got no Tesla. I know, but you said it like. Josh, that was a thing. It was like me? a whole thing. People was like, you can't take Tesla to the car wash. But you said it like, Josh, you should have told me because I wouldn't have gotten my Tesla in yeah, the I car wash. Say about it. Also, quick aside. Somebody yelled at me <gasps> online. I'm a smack them. Who you. was it? I don't know. But they said, because we went to Hobby Lobby. To uh, oh, oh for the for lobby. oh yeah they for, said it's uh, anti-gay oh, anti-gay they said it's Trump's biggest supporters I had not I said in you, the video I had you not can't been tell honestly no is, I is my I don't know what, too? I don't no, I thought I said Hobby Lobby, lobby feel like very Christian based oh I didn't know that it I, did say that one of the pumpkins said thankful and blessed and I thought that was interesting oh they got Bibles up the front I'm sorry that they are Trump's biggest supporters oh, and that sucks but Hobby Lobby makes me moist I love it. So many crafts. It's, so it's many. Michael's. If Michael's was like oh, the size of a real store, it feels so good yes. to be up in there. Though <laughs> they got all the cute little cheesy mom decor, and that's me. Oh, it's big. Live, laugh, love. Oh, it's, it's a big. store full it's of live, Hallmark. laugh, love. It's, it's Ooh, all the set it. deck for Hallmark movies. What? That's what it is. First of all, the doggone pumpkin. Melissa picked this pumpkin up to uh -huh. decorate the porch, and also, this is the porch decorator now. I'm glad Who she is this when, woman? when she said she wanted to be a suburban mom. Oh, she's like, all in. Oh, yeah. But this I didn't woman. understand what was taking her so long because that's the life that I lived. That's, well, yeah. it, it was when we got our home and it was our home. Okay, that's what it took. Once it became our home, mm -hmm. she said, Oh, I'm gonna make this my house. Y'all see what I do for, for Christmas. You see. Oh, yeah, you go I, in. I love the fact that you have multiple Christmas trees. That's we're, great. We're gonna add a mother. We're going to add one now, more. Now, Marcus done said he don't want I it. I don't care what that man said. You act like he's my husband. They also got, <laughs> they also got two dogs, Kev. Oh, man. Marcus telling them people they don't know nothing about dogs. When he was showing them how dogs get down, I said, this is very interesting to me. I never thought about it. He said, y'all know nothing about dogs like that. The dog can get down <laughs> on the ground because every animal gets down on the ground except giraffes. I said, oh, good point. But then you. giraffes go down and drink the water on the ground. So shut up. You want Marcus to make content? Piss him off in the comments. And Boy. then he's like, See, <laughs> these angels, you want me to tell you what they said to me. I'm like, did they? He said, I learned so I'm, much in that this video. Is why I'm going to make a video. I'm I love when people know what they be talking about and they come tell people who don't know. Because I didn't know, but I also wouldn't have cared. I just thought, look at that little dog eating. That's you. all my thought was. Yeah. Not, you going to give him an elevated dish. Marcus was like, that's your problem with y'all dog on dogs. You're making them soft. He just now we were wolves. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, was that whole video was like, that. we was wolves. He's so mad. But, but anyway. Yeah. Bobby Lobby. I can't keep track. I want y'all to know. I don't know everything. I thought Hobby Lobby, Michaels, and Joanne's Joins. was just the same mm -hmm. uh, thing. What's the difference? They all own by their craft stores. Um, Hobby Lobby, though, has way more home decor stuff. 
Like, and what, oh, and Michaels is like actual crafts. Michaels is crafts, crafts like, like oh, um scrapbooking and stuff. Scrapbooking, you could do fake floral arrangements. You can do decor as far as in um for holidays. They'll have Halloween decor. They'll mm. have Christmas decor, but they're not going to have like a a rock like rocking chairs for you to purchase to put. Okay. In, but okay. Hobby Lobby will. Joanne's is more of a fabric store that mm -hmm. also has craft stuff. So if you're trying to make something, oh. whether it be upholstery, whether it be curtains, whether it be an actual outfit, you're going to find all the fashions, all the notions, everything that, that you need. I did go to Joanne's for fabric one time. Mm -hmm. They both got a little bit of baking stuff as well. Yes. So they make, they, they, so they go heavy one thing, a little bit, a little bit sprinkles back mm -hmm. on the other stuff. Yes. And okay. I, I don't know if y'all know this, I'm a crafter. This is the reason why I had a show called Crafts and Cocktails, which is coming back to my Patreon exclusive. Amen. Is it? Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. I had a great day. That Breaking day. news. Well, you can come back on the show if you uh, like. I want to come back too. Boy. Yes. We're going to drink. It's going to be lower budget. Of course. This time. Of course. But yeah, now, it's coming back to Now we're drinking. Get, get your own Uber this <laughs> now time. Now we got shots know? of Jägermeister. <laughs> no, the cocktails are still going to be premium. And so are the crafts. Ooh, Just shooting is going to be stupid. She's trying to get a party. Kai is in camera one. <laughs> yes. Si and, and tomorrow on iPhone. Hold and, it still. You should try and get a partnership with uh, that, that Bartesian. machine. Mm -hmm. Yes, I surely am going to try to get them to Bartesian. be like. Bartesian. Come on. But. Uh, so because I am a lover of crafts and I have most of our office uh, cabinets is full of craft supplies in my office. That's interesting. I am sorry. I'll never give up. Ho the fact that I found a Hobby Lobby, I didn't even know. There was one in Burbank, yep. but I was like, I don't ever be out there. But then I found one in Simi Valley and I said, oh, yep. my God. Oh. They got Simi Valley. They got one in Santa Clarita. Oh. One in Oxnard. One in Santa Clarita. Mm -hmm. well, that's one we we was out there doing a location scout and it's Lisa was like, oh, there's a Hobby Lobby out there. Yes. And she, oh, Angel, she was, it was just. This dog on cricket. I'm about to bust up in y'all's house. I'm be like, Melissa, I don't give a shit if you didn't invite me over. I want to see the cricket. I'm she was not... making hot, mu making mugs, Christmas mugs. She said the sublim. I did the sublimation. I was like, oh my god, you're sublimating. <laughs> it just makes her so happy. Her happiness is my happiness. That's good. And the thing that was cracking me up, man, we was in that dog on Hobby Lobby, and she was deciding the right amount of hay to pumpkin. To scarecrow ratio. Mm -hmm. Oh, did she get the little hay bales? Oh. oh. For a good 40 minutes. She does set up the little station. Oh, she mm -hmm. set it up. On the, okay, she said, nah, see, you, know, you got to go threes, Kev. Now, if, if I go two little scarecrows. This is fantastic. Then I got to go pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin over here. But I go little hay bale, then I can't go big scarecrow. So I go big hay bale. And in my mind, I'm like, I, I don't have an eye, an eye for design. So I'm just like. I, you know me, grab the biggest hay and the biggest scarecrow <laughs> and, and the biggest pumpkin and block our doorway. But she's like, nah, Kev, you got to go threes. You got to get the right color. And she was really thinking about it and taking pictures. And I left the, this morning. That scarecrow was out there like, good morning. What's sir. so funny is that she's doing this as you all are becoming empty nesters. Yes. Yeah. That's great. Like, I love to do it. Like, when my all of my nieces and nephews came and spent uh, spring break. We got harvest decorations, not Halloween. I know y'all got Halloween. Y'all worshiping the devil. Yeah. <laughs> Big That's Big how you got on TMZ. I got, I ordered cups on Amazon because I was like, I don't want to be uh, running through cups a lot. I ordered reusable cups and then on my Cricut cut out everybody's name in this like iridescent foil. Come on, iridescent. It iridescent? On. Yeah, it was really cute. And put their name on it because that's the cup you're going to use this whole week. Mm -hmm. You're looking, you're thirsty. <laughs> Find your cup with your name. So that's why I'm so shocked that she not she didn't do it when the boys was in, but maybe because she was just so busy. Now yeah, she you got to actually do stuff with them. Now that they just come home, eat, lay down. She got time. She got time. It's the best. She's having a time. I'm I'm excited. It's the best. She's like, I need an office now, Kev. She needs a craft room. Oh, yes. What's that? She, uh, Josh was telling me what time it was. Yeah, she needs um, a craft room. Yeah, anyway, we got to go. I got to catch a flight. Tide hour. If there's something that happened that changed the world, and we didn't cover it is because we're shooting this in the past on October 11th, Friday. We'll cover it in the bonus episode that we shoot sometime this week. We'll figure out a time. And uh, so if you're not a part of Kevin's Patreon, you're going to miss that bonus. You're going to miss that bonus. All right. And it's your choice. It's your right. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. God bless you. God keep you. We'll see you at the conference. Bye. Oh, WMA finals. Bye. Yeah, I didn't want to talk about that because by then... It'll be what? Shoot, by the time we see y'all again, the finals might be over. It might be. It's Minnesota. Got it. Here's another thing of fire. Here's another one. Yeah.
Here's another bang of fire. Here's another one. Here's another bang of fire. Here's another bang of fire. With my boy Kev on stage. And that chick angel.